Hello, water signs, and welcome to your general love reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, please follow the description box below. Okay, you'll see my website there. Uh, you'll have my email presented to you as well. Um, and we'll go ahead and get into contact. Thank you for all of those Morph Team members and supporters who have worked with me already. For those who like, comment, and subscribe, and keep keep the, the journey alive, okay? Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get into Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio's current love situations, okay? I saw that judgment card there. So let's see what we're getting into, okay, guys? And let's begin. For the water signs, we got the Eight of Wands. Ooh, travel, 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 travel. And not only are we traveling here with this fire energy, but we're looking at stability. It's not about just, oh, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there. It's about you knowing that you're going to have to go somewhere and actually put in the effort. You're going to have to go somewhere and get a vigorous point of view. Okay, you're going to, it's, this card also represents fast pace change. Okay, so a lot of us may be having um, a lot of nightmares and dreams about it because, you know, the anxiety for us water signs, sometimes moving so fast isn't ideal. Um, oh, that's on the camera. Um, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of us may be having dreams of our parents. Okay, now we have the emperor, a father figure. A lot of us may be having dreams about our parents um, needing to forgive the past, needing to forgive maybe the sheltered life we lived because that's what's hard for us to move forward but just know that dreams are going to be coming uh into your lives right now about your parents or caretakers or anything that's kind of put a a hold on how you manifest in life okay um what else do we have boy okay we have the king of cups so this is your energy and this is a masculine's energy um of which of being uh emotionally balanced okay so through it so at least you know cancer pisces and scorpio that through whatever changes you're going to make whether that's moving relocating a new relationship you know just ridding of the old and into a new a new life okay scorpio um you're gonna you're gonna be able to be emotionally balanced you're gonna hold on to those people you left behind you're gonna hold on to everything that you've had up until the point you had to leave but at least you'll be emotionally balanced and i know for water signs that that's something that obviously means the world to us is that even though we're going to be here and there that we're going to be able to focus and not show people our tears you know as you know we're in a whole new environment i do get that a lot of us are going to be moving into a really fun environment um, say, for an example, you're moving to Orlando, you're moving right across the, the parks, maybe you're going to start working at Disney, you know what I mean, just for an example, so I know for a lot of us, the fast pace change into somewhere at least that we're eager to go, we're determined to win, um, could be scary, but just so you know that this place you're moving towards, even if it's not a fun, a very fun place, you're going to have a good time. It, it says that no matter what's going on, no matter how fun or how dull, you're going to be able to stand tall in your masculine energy of which your emotions are balanced and but um, first and foremost. So it looks like you're going to be creating a lot of friendships, um, a lot of relationships here. You could even fall in love. You could even find your love here as much as you may not want to because this old grizzly bear here who's moving so fast through time like a time warp you know he's calling doc from fast to the you know, back to the future um he's moving so fast but you're going to be able to settle down and um look your best okay so then we have the king of pentacles a lot of us i get it that we're going to be meeting someone um so a lot of us could undergo like money problems because we're moving into a new you know when you're when you want new it's always costs right regardless of what it is um, so it looks like a lot of us are also going to be in this masculine energy that's going to divide and, com um, and uh, I want to say compare and contrast with the person you're going to meet, earth sign. I think, I think these energies have to do a lot with you and the person and the people you're going to meet. It looks like the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, first of all, we know that you're going to be st uh, ten toes down. You're going to be very um stable uh you're going to be in a position where you can make a lot of money a lot of us are going to be in a position where we can find our dreams say we're moving to disney and we want to be a makeup artist we're going to get a chance to be behind the scenes with all of those who do the makeup for mickey minnie and all the you know the princesses princess tiana cinderella stuff like that 
um, it looks like we're going to be right smack down in the middle of the function. You know what I mean? Also, these two masculine energies tell me that even if you're a man or a woman watching, you're going to find somebody who matches your exact fly, is on the same level as you. Okay, a lot of us are going to be meeting our twin flames. A lot of us are going to be meeting soulmates, which in which both can can succeed up until forever and to everlasting. So don't be fooled. Don't feel discouraged. You know this move. You know I get I get a sense that for some of you watching, you've moved a lot when you were younger. Not up to you, but to your up to your parents. Okay, and you know you hate moving, but once you move, you couldn't you couldn't picture a better life. You couldn't picture you know having any other friends or doing anything else so that's what it looks like here and you're doing it on your own for a lot of us but we're going to meet meet someone if we're a woman we're going to meet a man if we're a man we're going to meet a woman if we're a woman woman man man doesn't matter that is going to be on our same level they could have been living where you moved for a while but they have a security already so either they've been there or they're moving with you, but you both are coming into this security and this emotional balance where you're going to meet someone. Of course, you're always going to meet people who are on the same regimen as you. Um, and it looks like for some of us, a lot of us are going to meet like sugar daddies or someone who has a lot of money and wants to take care of you um, because they've, you know, they've been stable long enough and they've been taking care of themselves. I don't get that there's any children here. There may be a big family or someone who has a lot of connections is what I get. There's a plethora of connections, um, a lot of people around them that look up to them, or maybe they're business owners and stuff like that. But, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I want you to know that you're going to be standing 10 toes down. I know it seems like you're not. Some of us may be going back to places we were already. We were there already, so we just don't feel like it's going to be that great. We're kind of like... You know, I can notice that this guy's hand here, this goblin's hand is on the wall and it looks like air. It's like they're traveling through time. So it may look like not only that you're moving so fast, you're like, whoa, whoa, Nelly, um, you know, we're almost there. But um, it, it looks like you've been here before. So some of us are already having like doubts that nothing's going to work out. But actually you got king of cups and king of pentacles in love and in the money area. area everything's going to be good. Okay. Now we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is you, um, more of your energy, and this other person's energy. I really get a sense of two people here. I get a sense of a relationship here, networking here, um, and love. Um, I feel like if you feel like you're going to be alone, you're not. I feel like even as you're on your way where you're going, you're not alone. If you're Ubering, if you're taking the transport, you know, you're going to be talking with a lot of people. But the Seven of Pentacles talks about relocating, relocation, investing everything you have somewhere else. Okay? Leaving behind some of us. So yeah, a lot of us are going to be moving and we're going to have to leave behind say our bed and our furniture but we're going to bring our clothes we're going to buy suitcases a lot of us are buying the things that we need to be able to move okay this this signifies complete travel here um and the seven of pentacles also talks about you know you've been contemplating for a while if you're going to go here go there how much how much and how little do i do do i bring or don't i bring um but the seven of pentacles talks about moving forward into the future um like putting down old lives you know you're growing up um, at whatever age you do, this is this is then. Um, ages, I look. I think about uh, people in their thirties, thirty-eight, twenties to thirty-eight is what I as what I see here, from your twenties to the to your to your thirty, almost forty is is what I see here. But um, the Seven of Pentacles also talks about yeah, um, investing somewhere else, and so that's awesome. So let's go ahead and clarify this Seven of Pentacles. We got the Hierophant, uh, the card number five. So this is more of that um, earth energy. And that's what actually made me feel really good about this is because you're going to come up on money when you're moving. You're going to come up on someone who wants to take care of you, who has the money and the means. You're going to be in situations where the, the job can make you a lot of money. You're going to be someone who is of money and stature. This five of pentacles is more of that earth energy. And it's a knowing that that is something that you are supposed to do. And I love how you're really in your masculine energy because I guess when it's time to travel and get up, I guess you're doing it all alone. I guess you're packing up on your own. I guess you're having to feel like you're alone and really be like okay this is what we're going to do you got your whole planning sheet um like you know maybe you're you know like construction you know you're getting your planning together and, and you're having to put on your big boy pants right now and really kind of orchestrate everything that you're about to do five uh the major arcana the hierophant the number five represents um secrets you know from 
you know, maybe not even from people if we're talking about someone who's doing this alone, but it's about, you know, even keeping from yourself, even even just trying not to say too much because you really don't know what's going on. You just know that you have a need and you have, you have to do this. So I think a lot of us know that we have to, so there's no way around it, but just so you know, you're going to land on your two feet um, as soon as you land. Um, also about that seven of pentacles, it may say that it, uh, you may be taking too much, you may be taking too little. Okay, it, you're scared, you're terrified, you know, that, that's what this is talking about. So we got the top of the deck, is the devil. You're scared, you're very scared because you're, you're caught into temptation, you know, these dreams have you have whacked out, you know, I think you're really up in your head as far as how you're going to land. I see all the water signs not really dwelling right now. Uh, in their plans, there is no thoughts, only actions. And I feel like you, you, um, okay. Be careful how you're, um, making your money right now as well. Be careful who's watching you. Take your things with you. Be careful who, um, knows you may be moving, be careful about what people know. And that's why the Hierophant is here, because you only let what you need to be let known, okay? Um, you have, may have kids, you know, just be cautious of what you say um, to people. The Two of Swords, be cautious of those around you. That's, that's just that. There's devils, there's people lurking that may not want to see you do anything that maybe they can't do as far as just getting out of small town. Um, Capricorn energy, you know, I, I think, I think a lot of us have to, um, forgive our parents, you know, I think a lot of us have to forgive our parents if they're not Capricorns or not, it's just, it, the devil here is talking about to me, your, your hold on being comfortable and trying to be safe without making any determined action of, of impulsiveness, you know, just like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, and Capricorn is that energy. You know, we have a lot of Earth energy. The, the majority here is Earth, and I think Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn are going to be very significant to you. Just the energies even of that because they're not people who stay in the same place for too long if it means that they're not excelling. They will have a house. They will have their foundation. But as far as, for an example, work, they will hop job to job because they know that's how to get money. So it's telling me here that in order to, to, to really get going because you'll be put in the right place, Place, you're going to have to make sure you grind those gears wherever it is that you're working. For example, you're working in a warehouse or a factory. Make sure you're constantly working because you can miss, you know, multiple things that needed to be put together. You know what I mean? And so that's 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 kind of what's going on here. The devil is is temptation to hold you back. I think a lot of us are going to be holding back. Let's clarify this devil here for the water signs. We have the Knight of Cups water energy this is you um it, it just talks about an impulsiveness but to do other things um to 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 be in love to to want attention here and there i feel like this knight of cups is obviously um water energy so you're just focused on other things now remember your your goal here in your situation and your own soul is to be balanced and this does not signify a balanced soldier. Um, you could get definitely sidetracked where you're going if you're like seeing a really hot girl or a really hot guy. Um, you'll still be working where you're working, but I feel like if you see somebody and you and you look at them for too long, you may get caught up in in, in those infatuations and the lust and the desires, whereas you're supposed to be making money right now. Okay, let's get one more card. The Four of Swords talks about meditation, so I think you're going to have to um, uh, deny temptation while where you are. So a lot of us are going to be moving a place where we're going to be looking on our, you know, our best, even though we may not feel it or something. You know, we're going to have quite a lot of suitors, quite a lot of, um, look at the Two of Cups at the bottom, quite a lot of, uh, I saw the King, and look, I just opened right back up to there, right next to each other. I just saw the King and Queen of Wands. You have a lot of potential here to be to be with someone. This Three of Pentacles while you're working, you have a lot of potential to be with a lot of people. And it says here that water signs we're going to have to make sure that we're focused elsewhere. 
make sure that, you know, we're not non-committal. But right now, let's be the one breaking hearts right now, if that's the case. You know, let's focus on the money that we need to make. Um, let's get a advice card. The hanged man, listen to your divine, listen to your angels and your guides, and always be more positive than the negative, and don't worry about the people who want you, need you, who are so fascinated by you, but you need to be um, different from the crowd right now as you, as you were, at ease. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.